बहुत धन्यवाद नमस्कार थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू मुजिबुल्ला खान जी दिस इज नॉट अ फोरम दिस इज नॉट अ हाउस वेयर यू कैन मेक अनसब्सटैंशिएटेड अनवेरीफाइड बेसलेस एलिगेशन विच कैन गो विच कैन बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन अ रूलिंग विद द अथॉर विद द विद द काइंड ऑफ रूलिंग्स दैट वर गिवन बाय द ऑनरेबल चेयरमैन फ्रॉम हियर दैट इफ मिस्टर पाठक डज नॉट सबमिट एविडेंस और इफ ही डज नॉट ऑथेंटिकेट वॉट ही हैज स्टेटेड इन द हाउस आई थिंक इट विल नॉट बिकम अ पार्ट ऑफ द रिकॉर्ड आई फर्दर स्टेट that this should not go on to the social media and also into the media because then this can become a matter of breach of privilege of this house so i would like everyone to kindly make a note of it uh, next speaker ayodhya ramireddy garu 5 minutes aid nushal thank you sir thank you for uh, giving me the opportunity to speak on the public examinations prevention of unfair means bill 2024 sir this bill represents a crucial step towards ensuring integrity and fairness in public examinations across india how cutthroat competition can get especially in nationwide examinations this is a welcome move we from ysr congress party support this bill sir this bill extends to a wide array of critical examinations conducted by esteemed bodies such as upsc ssc rrb nta iba ps and various central government <coughs> departments this bill paves the way to standardization of measures and protocols to prevent the usage of unfair means by addressing a comprehensive list of offenses including paper leaks collusion and digital tampering this bill sets forth stringent penalties to deter malpractices however i wish to bring the following issues to the notice of honorable minister to prevent and minimize the malpractices the first point is integration of technology and the second point is capacity building when it comes to the integration of technology the scale at which these examinations are conducted make technological integration in malpractices prevention very economical here are certain ways this can be achieved first one is artificial intelligence enabled digital surveillance system development of a centralized digital surveillance system to monitor examination centers in real time using artificial intelligence to detect any irregularities or malpractices instantly not only would this vastly increase the propensity of catching uh, cheaters but also preemptively preemptively deter potential cheaters from engaging in such activities when they are aware of sophisticated machinery in place cyber security protocols for evaluation stage end to agent end measures which which are beyond the examination room are also important many times unfair means are also implemented by manipulating the evaluation of answer sheets mandation of robust cyber security protocols for all digital aspects of examination uh, conduct including the submission and evaluation of answer sheets is likely to help the same next is data analytics for oversight a large issue that persists is that of resource mobilization the number of test takers often overwhelms the resources put at put at place to prevent malpractices hence appropriate resource mobilization becomes a pivotal application of data analytics to tools to scrutinize examination results and performance metrics across different centers and regions spotting inconsistencies or irregularities that could indicate malpractices is likely also to help accurate judgment virtual proctoring another way to tackle the large test taking population is virtual proctoring this can also help provide good proctoring to areas which are either geographically inaccessible or economically costly to reach for invigilators for online examinations integration of virtual proctoring tools that include features like eye tracking keystroke analysis and uh, browser lock would go a long way in ensuring fairness the second one is the capacity building of this entire examination processor a significant <coughs> problem is also that of invigilators and other test centers administrators are all are unaware of about proper procedures and protocols this can create inefficiencies at best 
and lead to the proliferation of malpractices at worst. There are multiple ways this can be remedied. The second one, the, the next point, training programs and certifications. Development of comprehensive training material on fair and ethical practices as well as booklets defining all common protocols to be followed during test administration could prove to be very beneficial. Moreover, to ensure these training programs, uh, 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 moreover, to ensure these trainings, programs are to be adhered to, certification from these programs could be made mandatory for all individuals wishing to serve as invigilators. Please conclude. Simulation of exercises and workshops. While technology has been a boon, its ever-changing nature also means that a new innovative ways of utilizing technology to engage in malpractices are always coming up. Workshops which provide information about these ways and best methods to prevent their occurrence should be provided. Moreover, a simulation of exam scenarios could also be provided to invigilators with necessary experience which is required to administer the actual exam. Right. With these suggestions, this is a very, very good bill, sir. We welcome from our party, YSR Congress party, and on our behalf of our Chief Minister, YS Jagan Mohan Reddy. And we Thank support you. this bill in total. Thank you, sir. Uh, Dr. V. Sivadasan.